I spent seven years as a day trader before becoming an AI time series research engineer. And this prototype here combines retrieval augmented generation with time series data. I wanted to use it to find historical charts that were similar and see if that could help inform trading decisions. Now, I don't actively trade and this will not make money on its own. It's not a trading system. I wanted to show how RAG, that's been very popular and effective for large language models and text data, could be applied to time series data for something similar. And so in the rest of this video, I'm going to walk you through how I built this and what I think it's capable of. But again, it's not a trading system on its own. This is not something to help you make money. This is more exploring time series RAG. All right, so before diving into the code, I just want to quick give you an overview of what, what I built here. Uh, we have a data fetcher that runs first. This will fetch raw candlestick data. Right now, I'm just using Y Finance because it was easy to access, but you could extend this to any number of data fetchers. It writes the raw data to a table in timescale DB. I chose to use timescale DB for the back end of the raw data just because it's a time series database optimized for this kind of storage. And then we have this process data function, which will take that raw data, normalize the candle shapes, and then create embeddings for those candle shapes. And when we create the embeddings, we write the embeddings to LanceDB. You could also use something like PG Vector and keep it all in Postgres, but I chose LanceDB just because it's less database configuration for me to do. You can just run this from your machine with a pip install. So <clears throat> this process data function takes the raw data, normalizes it, and then creates these embeddings. And the embeddings are just numerical representations of those candlestick charts in a way that our AI models can understand them. And then with the embeddings here, we just have the similarity search process that looks for embeddings similar to each other. And this is basically the first step of retrieval augmented generation that we see with large language models is you're looking for embeddings that are very similar in that high dimensional space, meaning they're grouped closely together. And that's what we wanted to do here. And that's what this Streamlit app front end calls is just finding, hey, given this chart, what are charts that look like this? And so diving into the project, the first thing you have to do is spin up this Docker Compose file here, which has Timescale DB installed. Before you do that, make sure Docker Desktop is running, or at least your Docker daemon is running. Mine's already running. You can see there's already some data in there, but let's pull some more. All right, so let's just run this and get some more data. All right, there we go. So that was step one here, this data fetcher. We now have data in Timescale DB, so now we need to process the data. All right, so this process and store job takes all the raw data from our Timescale DB and then normalizes it using min-max scaling on the open, high, low, close values. And that is what we just use as the embeddings. Like what we could do eventually is train our own autoencoder or use some time series foundation model to create the embeddings that we actually store. Um, but right now we just look at a slice of 10 to 20 bars and then normalize that range. And that slice is what turns into an embedding. And so here we're going to run the embedding a step where we process and store the data in LANCDB and we're using that window size of five bars. So that means we have five days worth of data and then it's a two stay strides, which means we're only moving that five day window forward two days at a time. So there will be some overlap. And I chose this kind of small window because I wanted this to, I wanted to see some similar examples in this tiny data set. In practice, you can tailor this to what your use case is and that's done. So now we can launch our Streamlit app and view this. All right, and so I initially created two modes, but really I think the most interesting one for traders is this find window similar to recent data. So if this is the most recent five bars for Apple, now we should see five bars that somewhat represent the same pattern. Um, it's, a it's a little hard to see here. And ignore the similarity score. There's a bit of a bug going on right now. Uh, but yeah, this didn't, this one, this pattern doesn't look very good. Let's see what else we can find. All right. So this one looks pretty good. It's, it's a little tricky to see here, but, um, the idea being with like with five bars, you can see like this pattern is pretty similar between Amazon and Apple. Now, of course, one issue with what we're doing here is this is correlation, right? Like these are looking at the same window. These are big tech stocks that are heavily correlated. So this isn't that interesting. But now imagine if you extend this out and you had a repository of all historical charts ever, you know, for as far back history you could go, for as many symbols as you could go, and then you refine this similarity score such that you're looking for things that look very, very close to this pattern. And now maybe it's not a five-day slice, it's a 10, 20, 100-day slice, and you're comparing that on multiple levels. Now you have a really powerful RAG system for time series charts. And again, this just being a prototype, but I wanted to show like what it could look like. If you're able to quickly search through all this historical time series data and look for similar patterns, 
you can use that and interpret that how you wish to make trading decisions. Uh, for me, like having seven years trading experience, one thing I would have really liked is it can help shape your perspective on things. And then if you have enough samples, perhaps this is also informing a trading strategy. Uh, but I think I just wanted to give a quick demonstration of like what I think you can do with time series rag. And again, this is a very much a work in progress. This is not meant to make money. And so this code is up on GitHub if you want to check it out and contribute. I'm not sure where I'm going to take this project right now. I'm about to start a 30 days of time series AI research challenge where I'm learning in public for 30 days straight on time series AI, uh, you know, excluding weekends. But um, in the meantime, you know, join the GitHub. I have a Discord channel up on the Open Augie repo if you want to chat more there. That's for building augmented intelligence tools. Otherwise, subscribe at bitsofchris.com and follow along. And just let me know in the comments what you think. Is this something interesting to you? Do you do time series rag? How would you apply this if you were trading with this information? I appreciate it, and I'll see you in the next one.